Hey, in this video, I thought I would give you five reasons that I think aren't so great about living in Coquitlam. I grew up in Coquitlam. I spent a lot of my time in Port Moody. My office is in Port Moody and spread throughout Coquitlam and Port Coquitlam as well. So I know Coquitlam extremely well. And I could give you a hundred reasons that I think are fantastic to live there. But I thought in this video, what I'll do is uncover five that I think suck about living in Coquitlam. My name is Greg Axford. I run a real estate and property management brokerage out of the Tri-Cities, which is Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam and Port Moody in the lower mainland here in Greater Vancouver. And my whole goal of this channel is to make educational videos to help uh, anybody that's thinking of buying or selling real estate in my marketplace so that you are able to make an informed decision. And if you find any value in this video, all I would ask is that you click the like button. That would be greatly appreciated. That will help. YouTube's algorithm get this out to other like-minded individuals like yourself that are looking for this kind of information and if you'd like to stay uh, informed please click the subscribe button and you'll get notified whenever new videos do come out and if you would like to go into a more detailed conversation on buying or selling in my marketplace of Coquitlam Port Moody Port Coquitlam there is a link below in the description that will allow you to choose a time that's convenient for yourself and we can chat on the phone, we can have an in-person meeting, or we could do a Zoom. So like I said, I was born and raised in Coquitlam. I grew up here, I'm very familiar with it, and I really do think it's one of the best cities in Greater Vancouver. Uh, there's a ton of great things, but here are five things that you, if you are new to Coquitlam, might find valuable uh, that aren't so great. So number one, so because Coquitlam is a desirable place to live, it costs a lot of money to live here. And the benchmark price for a single family home in Coquitlam right now is $1,735,000. And that is a 143% increase over the last 10 years. One of the uh, largest increases throughout the whole lower mainland. Uh, townhouses is just over a million dollars, a million 16, that's the benchmark price. And also one of the highest increases over the last 10 years at 158%. Condos are benchmark price right now, 665,000. Also one of the highest increases over the last 10 years with the uh, change of 140%. So great place to live, but you gotta pay to live here. But one of the maybe not so obvious ones is is, uh, Coquitlam is a big city geographically now you could say oh I've got to drive from one end of Coquitlam to the other and if you hit that traffic that uh, that bad traffic that I talked about in uh, point one uh, it can take a while so it could take you if you're up by Burke Mountain and you have to drive down to Lougheed uh, Town Centre that way it could take you about a half an hour so traffic is bad and it's a big city so to get from one end to the other can take some time. So the transit in some parts of Coquitlam is fantastic and other parts it's not so great so if you're near the town centre Coquitlam uh, Town Centre North Coquitlam as it's called you have SkyTrain. SkyTrain runs along the north side through Port Moody and up through Burquitlam so if you're anywhere around there transit's great because you've got the SkyTrain um, and you've got in North Coquitlam you've got the West Coast Express station as well now if you're outside of that so if you're up on top of it's called Central Coquitlam up off of kind of Como Lake Avenue Austin Avenue down the hill in Millardville there is no SkyTrain down there so you're relying on a bus to get to the SkyTrain so not as convenient and uh, takes a little bit more time to use. So because we're backed up right against the mountains in Coquitlam we get kind of socked in with the uh, clouds comes the rain and in the winter the snow. So depending on which area you're in because Coquitlam is also a very hilly city and uh, depending on which area you're in you can get some uh, if, if it snows and we get a good dump uh, you might get socked in unless you have a really good 4x4 vehicle. They do do a very good job of plowing the streets especially the main ones but um, yeah, it's a hilly city, it varies depending on where you are and you can get a lot of snow. So there's a few things that aren't so great about living in Coquitlam. Like I said, the pros far outweigh the cons in my opinion. If you think I missed anything, if you have any uh, difference of opinion, please by all means type them into the comments below. I would love to hear them and happy house hunting everyone.